Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about all of this drama that's going on with Sukihana. So if you guys do not know, um, a lot of people are accusing rapper YK Osiris of basically sexually harassing her, sexual assault. Um, so it's a lot to unpack here, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. So what went down is basically this. Um, Suki Hana is on a panel with Lil Duval, Funny Marco, um, and some other gentlemen. And YK Osiris, he comes up, and he basically tries to kiss her. And she doesn't appear that she's too into it. It's almost like, okay, why are you touching me? Then he goes in and he tries to kiss her, and she pulls her head back, obviously meaning, don't kiss me. Then he ends up grabbing her face and he kisses her without her consent. And you can hear her saying, stop it. And um, she's trying to pull away from him and she's kind of shocked. And everybody's laughing. Little Duval's laughing. Funny Marco, everybody's just kind of looking at this and laughing. And so once this clip was posted online, it caused a lot of controversy, especially on Twitter. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this clip and I'm going to play you guys some comments of what people are saying Go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw that video. Now, if that's not crazy enough, um, Twitter users also pulled out a video of Suki and some man named DJ A1. I've never heard of him before, but I guess he's on Candy Coated Nights with Candy, which is her freaky bedroom podcast. And so during this interview, the, the DJ guy was being very, very overtly sexual and to me, high key disrespectful while he's interviewing Suki. So this also went viral, and people are saying that this is a shame. She's been sexually assaulted by these two guys. This makes no sense. It doesn't matter what she does or how she carries herself. This is not okay. So I want you guys to watch both of these clips, both of these interactions with Suki. I see. Uh, oh, the little throat, huh? Yeah, I, be, I do the singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how about it? <laughs> Can we calm him down? <laughs> I can't even turn up because he is hey, he's been waiting it? at the door for me. Hey, how about you it? was not acting like that out there. I mean, shit, we on now. <laughs> no, no, that's right. See, I like to sing myself, so we don't have to listen to Okay, music. sing us a little something. Yeah, sing us a song. Let's see what that mouth do. Oh. No, I'm saying vocally. Vocally. <laughs> Let's see what that mouth do vocally. What does your mouth do? Shit, everything you needed to do. I make that pussy spit, and I know it do. I, I watched you walk in this motherfucker. So you can tell by my walk? I can tell by your walk that pussy spit. Hey, you a country nigga. Where you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Camden Road to be exact. <laughs> What's happening with you? Not. See. I cannot. That's, this, is how, this is how he is every time he <laughs> get on there. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Hey, green, he been bro. over here saying he wanted to <laughs> smell it. Oh, yeah, I don't want to smell your pussy. I want to put my face in your pussy. You say Suki with the good coochie, you know what I'm saying? You be talking about how good that motherfucking smell and all that. So you want to put your... Yeah, I need a motherfucking scratch and sniff about that motherfucker. <gasps> scratch and sniff? <laughs> oh my gosh, out the Cracker Barrel box. Mm -hmm. scratch and I'm sniff. trying to get that. I do have a scratch and sniff. You do? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know what I mean? We can go to the back and I can come back and you give up. You want to smell my ass? I want to... I might put my tongue down that motherfucker. Oh my gosh, A1. But we're going to start with the sniffing though. You are aggressive. She love that shit, man. Look at her. <laughs> 
She I, like that old no, shit. No, I don't. You love that shit. No, I mean after like during sex maybe, but mm. you know that she's, not she's, not not right now. <laughs> nah, all that shit you talk. Fuck that. You done met your match. I'm here. What's up? So listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This man. Okay. okay. <laughs> Want to show <laughs> Suki my my dick pic and let her judge. Yeah. yeah. I'll oh, judge. That be, that she great. said she'll judge. Okay, can you it's show so, that to her? This is what I'm in life. <laughs> All right. You said let's, you were a what? Uh, no, 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 putting my dick on the camera? I know that's right. So contrary to <laughs> <laughs> Well, I feel like, honestly, uh, five inches is a huge dick to me. Five that's, inches? Yeah, that's big to me. No, okay. Mm-hmm. That's, that's super big. I love that size. That's, I know my mom used to say she'd rather be tickled than be stabbed. Cause I'm no seriously, cause you know some people got all their dick and they just be down stabbing the hell out your ass, and it's uh, yeah. not really, it's you know, always Tip. pleasant. No, it's no, but you thick. You swole me. I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw those clips. So that went viral last night as well. And I couldn't do anything but cringe when I saw that he basically pulled his peen pics up and showed them to her. I thought that was disgusting. So the conversation was still going on. It all started last night. Then Suki got onto social media and she wrote the following. She says, I'm hurt and I'm scared to stand up for myself. Then she says, I drink to hide that I'm very sensitive. I feel things more than the average person. I stopped drinking yesterday, but today I've been crying all day. I asked God to strengthen me and use me to help others and to order my steps in his word. I just want to go away for a while. Peace. And so after that, she basically, you know, deleted her Twitter. She deleted her social media and she was gone. So soon after that, Amber Rose decided to speak up on her behalf. So this is what mother Amber Rose had to say about the situation. She says, are we really going to sit back and let this happen to Suki Hana? She was sexually assaulted and no one did anything. This is the entertainment business and she's an entertainer. Using her lyrics and her persona as an excuse to physically touch her and force her without consent is absolutely disgusting. What happened to protect black women? I cried watching that video and I'm sure a lot of women have as well. At Sukihana Goat, broken heart emoji. So that is what Amber Rose had to say. Um, YK Osiris has not said anything. Little Duval has not said anything. Um, so like I said, it's a lot to unpackage here. And some of you guys may agree with this video. Some of y'all may get mad. You know me. I don't give a shit. It's my opinion. Take it or leave it. But I remember I've said this many a times on my videos and I've been attacked and told I'm a prude and, you know, quit judging and all this stuff. But I've said for years that most of these girls who sit there and portray this super freaky lifestyle and they lead with all this overt sexuality and, you know, even her name, Suki with the good coochie. And I said this a long time ago, when you, when the coochie's good, you don't have to announce it. But I get it, that's her persona. But my issue is this. A lot of women are leading with what we call whole culture, where anything goes, being super vulgar, overtly sexual... But then when you get them behind closed doors, they're really not about that life. And I've said this for years. These girls get on these rap songs and they say the most degenerate gutter butt shit, everything from eating ass and just all types of stuff that they talk about. But then outside of that, you can look at their personalities and tell they're really not about that life. She even says she doesn't even like big dicks. She prefers dicks that are five inches or less. You know, so you can tell that even though she talks about all this sexual shit, she mainly is talking about that with one person. But that's not how it's being perceived. Nobody's looking at this and thinking, well, she's just talking about her boyfriend. They're looking at her lyrics, her persona, and they're thinking that's just how she gets down with any and everybody. And part of the reason why people had this, you know, interpretation of Suki Or I guess we could also call it a misconception because she's saying that her personality is not who she really is. But the problem is she plays into it just as much. She's just as vulgar in interviews, the way she talks, the way she carries herself. Even now when I went to go research for this story, when I put in her name onto Twitter, the first video that pops up is her in bed masturbating with a rose. Again, she's grown. She can do what she wants to do. I mean, the fact that that pops up first says a lot. 
So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these video clips that are floating all over social media. Everything from her twerking on a 10-year-old child to her just talking super freaking vulgar. I'm not going to put the rose clip in here. Y'all can go search for that on your own time. But I'm going to play all these other clips here. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. What you know about a new balance? I'm just trying to get my life in balance. So I just started with a Ooh. new balance for Ooh. the new year. I got some pH balance for your ass. Okay. Start it now. <laughs> okay. Baby, yeah. I got a scratch and sniff. Yeah. You piss on me, piss in my mouth. Let me piss on his mouth. Let me piss in your mouth, fart in your face. I want to on top of your hair and rub okay. it in. I like to open my legs, squat my ass over his face. And give me a nice little fart in. The baby's oh, Yeah. I hope their feet ain't dirty. But yeah, yeah, rub that baby towel. Because that corn is really fucking me up right now. And they had put me in a size six. If you was a real man, you would give me a whole bunch of shoes that said a size 37. How deep is your throat? It's as it's, it's, it's long as your tongue is. So whatever that is. It's long enough to get it done. Okay, so you, you say you're going to give me my shoes and stuff. I'm, I'm going to get the shoes. You ain't even rubbing my toes. I am right rubbing it right. All right, so you guys just saw those clips. Before this whole YK Osiris situation, the day before, her and Little Duval were also arguing about who's the best in the bedroom and he's saying things like I know your pussy's good and it was a lot of vulgar talk and I think because they had this vulgar back and forth the day before is why little Duval funny Marco none of them said anything to come to her defense because they just assumed it's all good because that's how she plays with them Y'all go ahead and check this out I'm not quick though. Oh, I love this. Five minutes or less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I like to go throughout the day. Oh, yeah, see, I come back. Yeah, that's great for me. Okay, well, we're perfect. We're perfect. We're perfect. You're You're going to find out. You're going to find out. All right. You want to see my island? You want to see my island? I've never been to an island. Yeah, you come to my island. All right. Which do I get out of? Can I get some crab legs? I get somebody to eat your ass. Hey, me, okay. me, 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 me. We'll get him to eat your ass. Oh, no, for real. Because Spongebob is going to eat your ass. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You need it for the ice. You need it for the ice. I'm not growing no more. I'm not growing no more. Is everything no, short? No, I'm good. Oh, Come on, man. You better ask him. You know. You know what the f*** going on. You know what the f*** going on. See, she be around other f***ers that can't talk shit. Hey, but we hey, perfect for each other. We perfect. we perfect for each other. We gonna do a show. We gonna be the new new um new I will age. Turn your I will turn you the off for real. You promise? I, I, no, it ain't you no fucking problem. You promise? No good. All right. He All right. put a good time. You know, I, you know, since I got hit by a car, I've been taking perks. So I will. Oh, I, love it. Take some perks. This is perk. <laughs> my favorite one. Yeah, this perk. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, give me a perk. The perks we got from the. All right, so you guys just saw that clip with her and Little Duval. And like I said, that went viral. That was all over the shade room. People laughed. People enjoyed it. And now we're here today with this situation. And I feel like from what she posted today, I think all of this is starting to weigh in on her. And I've said this for years. This girl is a mother. She has a little girl. She has a son. And... You can tell she's working hard to provide a way for her family, right? She's how her family eats. She takes care of her children. But the way she's doing it, it's a double-edged sword. And this is no different than when I give people advice on when they say they want to start YouTube channels, they want to start an Instagram page. And I always tell people, how you introduce yourself to the world is how people will perceive you and expect you to be. And you have a lot of young girls who are thinking that the way to get fame, the way to get money is to lead with their sexuality, is to be overtly vulgar. There's a girl right now on Twitter that's going viral for talking about how she was at some hotel for her birthday and just had sex with two random guys. They didn't even speak English. Y'all go ahead and check this out. What is your craziest story for my birthday? I randomly just two guys I didn't know English at all. I just I was just walking down the hall at this resort 
and I was like, yep, where are y'all a room at? Let's go. How did they know what you were saying? It's an all adults resort, I think they knew. Did they you do knew like the vibe. Like, hand motion or something to make them like get the vibe like did you i them at all no i was just like where are y'all going and they didn't know what i was saying and i just went in their room and then i looked at both of them and i just started taking my clothes off <laughs> all right so you guys just saw that clip these are the videos that i'm seeing all over social media of young women between the ages of hell 17 some are underage till you know their late 20s and they're not understanding that when you put this type of persona out there, it does have consequences. It can come back to bite. I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear this and a lot of y'all will be in the comments cussing me out, but I'm going to speak my truth. I don't care who doesn't like it because my thing is for too long, so many young girls have been misguided by a lot of these rappers, these Instagram models, these social media personalities, these reality TV personalities. And I think at this point, Suki is kind of regretting her decision to frame her entire image around sex. She knows how to play along with it. She knows how to banter back and forth. But you can see that it's getting to the point now where she's starting to be uncomfortable. It was cute when it was certain people here and there, but now that people in her same industry are treating her with a lack of respect and they're coming at her with just straight up vulgarity and disgustingness, it's really starting to take a toll on her. And that's what I was saying when she was doing the OnlyFans and, you know, her sex was on Twitter every other day. And I'm like, she's doing the most. She's a mother. Eventually, she's going to regret this persona that she's putting out there. Now, if again, it was fun and jokes when she started years ago. I come from a long line, line of hoes. I'm Suki with the good coochie. But what happened is that she kept putting this out there, kept homing this in, kept homing this in. So now these men treat her like this persona. They have no respect for her. Do you guys notice that the DJ dude, he wasn't talking like that to Candy or anybody else on set? He was talking like that to her. And the way he was talking to her was just disgusting. Again, it doesn't make it right, but a lot of these men out here will treat women how they perceive them to be. And again, does that mean that women who, not, who are not overtly sexual, who don't lead with their sexuality, don't get harassed? Of course not. You can have women who are running around in burkas and they can get harassed and, and you know, assaulted and things like that. Perfect example, the young girl from Home Depot that went viral this week. Beautiful girl posted her picture that started a whole debate. People were talking about her. You had men and women telling her to get on OnlyFans. She said, no, I don't want to do OnlyFans. I enjoy working. I don't want to put my sexuality out there. I just work a nine to five. It got so bad that these people were able to put two and two together, find this woman's address. They started stalking her at her place that now she's had to quit her job at Home Depot. And you had so many women in the comment section of the shade room saying, because she was posting all these DMs that she was getting from men. And one of the men who had DM'd her was Shaquille O'Neal. And when she posted that DM, there was so many women saying that she dropped the ball. She's an idiot. Girl, you could have had him tricking off on you. You could have been flewed out. Again, so many women are leading with this whole culture. But then when they get flewed out, they freeze up. They're really not about that life because you don't know this man. You don't know his HIV status. You don't know shit about him. All you know is that he's famous or he, he's a rapper or that he got some money. And now reality's setting in. Am I about to fuck this man that I don't even know his last name? I know nothing about him because I'm on this whole culture kick. The girl says she didn't want to she didn't want to do an OnlyFans. She's not looking to be flued out. And you had females mad at her. You had men disrespecting her. Even now, Shaquille O'Neal is literally traveling from Home Depot to Home Depot looking for this girl. And I get it. It's a joke, but it's also disturbing. This is a grown man hunting for this young woman at Home Depot. And people are co-signing this just like people are excusing YK Osiris. I don't agree with Sukiana's persona. I think underneath all that overtly sexual bullshit, I think she's probably a really cool chick. She's funny. She got jokes. But I'm not going to co-sign that persona. She does a bit too much with the Suki with the good coochie persona for me. It's not my cup of tea. But even with that being said, does she deserve to be disrespected? Does she deserve for somebody to grab her fucking face and, and plant one on her? Absolutely not. I don't care if she walked out there butt booty hole naked. 
none of them have the right to touch her. We also have to have an honest conversation about if she's starting to feel this way and it's starting to bother her, was she saying that she's drinking every day? That's not good. When you're drinking every single day, that means that you're trying to numb the pain. That means that you're trying to forget about whatever you're going through. So at this point, she needs to have real conversations with herself and look in the mirror and understand that what she's doing is misguiding young girls who are looking up to her, who think that her persona, because for her, it's a persona. But for a lot of these young girls who are watching her, they're thinking that's the way to be. That's the way to carry themselves. Then they get themselves into these dangerous situations. Remember when I did my call-in show about the girls who got flewed out? They got flewed out from overseas to here in New York. And the guy turned on her, beat her friend. Her friend could have been killed. Because, again, they're watching, you know, these IG models brag about this. They're only showing you the highlights when they get the bag, when they get the money. They're not going to post when they've been beat up or, or had their tooth knocked out from getting flued out. They're listening to these lyrics from City Girls and these other rappers, and they're thinking that's the road to go down to get a quick bag, but they're not understanding a quick bag has also led some of these beautiful girls to have their bodies thrown in a ditch. So we got to understand that this situation goes way deeper than just Suki and her persona. This is something that a lot of young girls are being misguided by. And the entire situation is very disturbing. And to me, I will hold her accountable as a rapper with this persona no different than I hold male rappers accountable for the persona that they put out there. The baby, NBA young boy, the fact that all they do is rap about killing and, and, and murdering other young black men. These personas are not cool because why? They're having young men thinking that that's the way to be, to be a thug and a gangbanger. And these overtly sexual personas are also just as not cool because they got these young girls out here ready to sell their soul for a motherfucking bag and a plane ticket. And it's sad. You know, the conversations that she's having these men at this point are thinking that that is the real her. They no longer understand how to distinguish Suki from Suki with the good coochie. And I think that's the part that has her conflicted, that has her hurt. And I hope that while she's deleted her social media, she does some soul searching and she needs to understand that she doesn't have to continue with this persona. I'm not saying she has to turn around and be a goody goody church girl. I'm not saying that she can still be funny. She can still have her jokes. But I think she's starting to understand that this whole situation has gotten a lot bigger than she was expecting. And now it's hard to control. It's hard to put the genie back in the bottle. And it's really starting to bother her because now her own peers in the industry are showing a lack of respect for her. It's one thing if it's just a stranger or a strange man on the street, that don't make it no better. But when it's your peers, that's insane. Because she's a rapper, he's a rapper. What made him think that this was okay in any way, shape, or form? He's thinking that it's cool because of how she carries herself. He's thinking that it's cool because of her persona. And he's thinking he can do it because he's a rapper and he got that rapper persona. The overtly masculine, you know, personality. That's the persona he's trying to portray. But you can see that she was clearly uncomfortable. So again, I'm not saying this to come at her foul or to not girls who are overtly hypersexualized. Because once you're grown, you're going to do what you want to do. And like I said, good girls who display quote unquote good behavior, trust and believe they get harassed too. So, so I'm not here to spit some respectability politics. I'm saying it can happen on any end of the spectrum, but it's going to happen a lot more on the sexual side of the spectrum than it is the good church girl side of the spectrum. The Home Depot girl has been harassed just like Suki's being harassed. And I find both of it disgusting. It's sad that in this day and age, you have grown folks who do not know how to control themselves. You would think that some of these grown adults have never had ass before, have never been able to have a conversation with the opposite sex, male or female. The hypersexuality on both ends, it's insane. 
And unfortunately, these are the seeds that were planted for the young people. And this is why you have a lot of young girls, you know what I'm saying, who are acting overly sexual. You have a lot, lot of young men who are also acting hypersexual. So we got to understand that these personas and these so-called gimmicks, they can become very problematic when people are not able to distinguish the boundaries. And I think that that's what happened, is that people cannot distinguish Sukiana from Suki with the good coochie. I don't know her real name, so I'm just, you know, using both of those names as two different personalities. But they can't distinguish it. So now all of these people, including her peers in the rap industry, feel like it's fair game because, because of how she carries her persona. Again, it doesn't mean that she deserves any of this. I find all of this disgusting. The way the DJ spoke to her was disgusting. The way, you know, YK Osiris grabbed her and, you know, forcibly kissed her was disgusting. But I think we need to have a deeper conversation than just wagging fingers. I'm seeing a lot of just bullshit behavior on both ends of the spectrums from both men and women. So I wish Suki the best. Hopefully, you know, she'll figure some things out and she'll be okay. But, um, yeah, this young man had no business touching her whatsoever. Keep your hands to yourself. So, anyways, y'all, I leave the question up to you guys. What do you guys think about all this drama that's gone down with Suki? How do you guys feel about what Amber Rose had to say? Do you guys feel like YK Osiris was all the way in the wrong? Or do you feel like, well, that's how she carries herself, so it is what it is? How do you feel about the other men who were there, like Little Duval, Funny Marco, and many others, not even saying anything, not trying to stop it? A lot of people are going off on them on social media as well. And do you agree with me that, you know, these hypersexual personas are becoming more and more problematic? Because people can no longer distinguish the lines. So I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Make sure you guys hit the video with the like. And also feel free to share the video. And I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets. Join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.